Okay, um, I'm here to do a response video to um, Scandalous Beauty Erin, her video she just posted in reference to Mac controversy. I did read um, online the actual, basically the whole thing about it, saying that, you know, ever since Estee Lauder took it over, the quality of makeup artists and the quality of makeup has not been the same. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I have not been a MAC person since way back when, like 1997 or before that. So I was not able to experience those oh so beautiful and lovely products that everyone speaks about. Um, I just actually got into makeup about three years ago. But I do understand where they're coming from. It's just like a hype behind MAC Cosmetics. I am one of the persons I love MAC um, Cosmetics. Am I a dark hard MAC fan and that's all I want to wear on my face? No. Do I know people like that? Yes. Um, about the product itself, from what I've experienced, I can't go off of what anyone else has experienced. What I've experienced is I have had some products that I like and some products that I, I care that I don't care for and I would appreciate my money back but I'm um I mean it's not gonna happen but as far as the cult of people who love Mac and crave Mac and every collection that comes out they're hanging off each every word I mean I do have my moments where some things I'm like oh my god did you see that or I mean but I feel like what a lot of people misunderstand is it's all makeup I mean not every single product that Makeup Forever company comes out with, you're going to love. Not every product that MAC comes out with, you're going to love. My concern is not even about the company. I mean, I appreciate it because, I mean, it's sad to say, I appreciate companies who actually took their time to actually build a foundation for a woman of color like myself. Um, and I'm not even going to focus on those as far as negatives are concerned. But what I don't appreciate is the companies that have been around forever. They don't even have not one, not even one single shade for a black girl. Why would I invest my time or my money into a company like that? Um, and I just feel like personally, um, like she said, I haven't experienced Becca Cosmetics, but I did check them out after she, you know, mentioned it. And they do have an array of shades for women of color. Makeup Forever has an array of shades for women of color. MAC also includes shades for women of color. And I feel like a lot of people who say, oh, MAC is the only thing that I'm going to wear. I, can't, I, I feel like you shall, you're selling yourself short because MAC is not the only makeup company out there. I mean, don't get me wrong. Right now, for me, it is the only makeup company that keeps my interest. But it's not the only makeup company that I will be like, oh, that's all I wear on my face is MAC. No. A lot of my products are MAC solely because it's easy. Um, I get a discount now. And, you know, I mean, I'm, I do, I'm not going to lie. I'm interested in when they come out with collections. I feel like that's what kind of keeps my interest. Now, when they're coming out with collections every second, no ma'am, no girl. I just, I just simply can't afford that. I can't. Regardless if I have a discount, I can't afford that. But that is kind of sets the trend the whole diversity and be your you can be who you are you can be creative within mac i love that about the company but you know some people they hate mac just because they, they didn't even read or, or read up about the you know they just don't like it and you always have those people i mean you can't please everyone i just feel like overall for any woman of color where i stand is i like mac um are there some products that I like? Yes, of course. Are there some products that I just choose that I don't like and I would like my money back? Of course. But I know that's not going to happen. But overall, as a company and what they stand for, I really like MAC Cosmetics. I like other companies like Makeup Forever. I'm branching off into them too. You have to understand a lot of people come from that. When they're in the mall, that's the first thing they see. They see these girls dressed in black and they looking like they look really pretty so they kind of you know drawn that's all they know and most people when you hear them talk about MAC that's like the biggest that's a prestige makeup company but you have a lot of different companies that are more prestige and cost more money than MAC cosmetics for me growing up my mom was into MAC before I was so I didn't even know you know about MAC cosmetics until I was introduced to it by her and she loves it and you know she was wearing her, the foundation and one day I walked in and this girl her eyes were just beautiful and I was sold from there that does not mean that 
I did not go out and pick up my Maybelline shadows. Yes, ma'am, yes, girl. I did. But what I started to learn is each company has different things to offer. Now, I will say I'm the type of person, drugstore makeup, as far as their foundation, I've tried them. I look ashy. I look great. It didn't work. MAC was the first foundation that I actually liked that looked good on my skin. Now, that doesn't mean that if I try makeup for, make forever, I will feel the same way. I probably will because I've heard great things about their makeup. But for $40, honey, I don't believe I'll be able to do it. But, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, everyone, the whole drama surrounded by MAC Cosmetics it's just exactly what it is, drama. You have some people like me, when I see a collection come out, if there's something that catches my eye, I'll pick it up if I can. Or you have some people that just feel like they have to purchase the whole entire collection. I mean, what are you, what are you going to say? It's, people, there, it's your money, basically. But I feel like overall, the whole drama behind MAC Cosmetics, the company is outstanding as far as how they you know present themselves but I feel like that with the diversity and they believe in all race, all races all ages all sexes companies that I am going to boycott and yes I am saying it on camera it's companies like Benefit Cosmetics who um they all they care, cater to is people with lighter skin complexions and I feel like that is bogus because that's not the only people that are interested in buying your product why don't you have a foundation that will suit me how long have you been out I just feel like those companies are not interested or, or don't want my money or don't want my business. That's why I stand. I'm not going to focus on companies that are already catering to me and who, who want my money, who actually have thought about, hey, let's put some foundations together for women of color. You know, I'm not going to focus on those in a negative manner because you know what? It's companies out here that haven't. If we think about it, ladies, Benefit Cosmetics, I, I was just on their side today. I will not be purchasing anything until I see someone who looks like me who can purchase their product you can why why is that I feel like no co cosmetic company period should not have a line of makeup to suit women of color is it it does it cost too much I mean that's my whole issue like MAC Cosmetics yes you may not be able to find your shade but there's some shades there honey you know, come on. I feel like that's what we should be focusing on our attention. I mean, I understand that there's controversy about MAC because of the simple fact of, you know, what happened and they're taking the money or whatever, whatever. But let's focus on some companies that don't even look or recognize us at all. I'm just saying, you know, food for thought. But um, I just wanted to give my little two cents. Um, and that's it. So hopefully... I know hopefully that's it <laughs> thank you guys and um peace